This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course and part of Course E. It's Lesson 21 in the Express course. Lesson 16 in Course E functions with the Harvester Puzzle 13. Solve this puzzle in 23 blocks or less. Okay, it's a bunch of blocks. Let's see what we start with. So we're starting with these two functions. Each sprout will either grow one corn or nothing. To find the best solution, you will need to edit... Oh, I'm glad I read that. We're going to need to edit the functions directly. So we'll have to change these up. So what do our functions do? Pick along the path. Uh, we've seen this before, so we're going to repeat this till there are pumpkins. There's no pumpkins in this path, so that's problematic. Uh, we'll check for corn. Is that the corn or is that? Yeah, that's going to be our corn. And then we're going to move forward. Check for corn, move forward. Okay. Hmm. It's telling us, though, right away that we are going to edit these functions. So how am I going to get down these, like, stair-type things forward? So I'm going to just start writing the code. It wants us to do this in 23 blocks and looking for a pattern. So I'm going to move forward, turn right move forward, turn right, forward, forward, right, forward, oh no, forward, left, actions, forward, action, right, let's just make sure I'm getting this so far, and then forward, left, Okay, and so this is obviously repeated code, forward right, forward left, but ah. So that's all repeated to get down to these stairs and be here. And so what if it's going to repeat on us, once we get to here, though, we're going to want to go around this rectangle, go down here. And then, is this similar? Yes. So, um, let's call this, well, let's make that a function. We do want to pick, there's just lettuce at the start. So, if there's just lettuce at the start, I'm going to... Let's, there's no pumpkins. I'm going to start from scratch. All right, so if there's just lettuce at the start. I want to, oh, let's get rid of this code. Remember, we did this twice, so we're going to use a loop. And how many times do I want to repeat that? Well, twice, because I just got rid of the second part. So now do this twice. I'm going to move this over. So that should get us down the step things. Oh, I need to ask it to run that. All right, pick along the path. And so this will hit, will hit run, zoop, and it should go over here and run all that code twice. Okay, and we're not picking though. So what should we do there? Uh, Forward, right. Oh, so each time through, we should pick the lettuce. Because if we move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left, then we want to... Is there only one lettuce? No, there's multiple. Oh my goodness, this is tricky. Well, if there's multiple, we're going to use another loop th uh, here. And then, so while there is lettuce, what do we want to do? We want to pick. So we'll keep checking to make sure. And if there's lettuce here, we're going to be picking that lettuce. All right, then what? Hmm. Well, let's test this again. Great. Now we're here. So I would want to go... Wouldn't I want to go as long as there's a path? And if there's no path, turn right. Okay, we've seen this before. So, now after I get down to here... Oh, I should rename this. Um... 
I, I can use path because I'm going to call this one uh, pick rectangle. Okay. Um, pick along. I'll say pick windy path, I guess. All right. And then pick rectangle. So uh, what will be in pick rectangle is I want to go forward, obviously. I'm going to just test some stuff out. How much do I want to move forward? Well, I'd want to loop that because I want to keep going forward if there's a path in front of me. Okay. And so once there's not a path in front of me, oh, wait, what do I want to do while moving forward? Ah, if there is corn, I want to pick corn. And there's never more than one corn. So I want to move forward, and each square, I'll go ahead and check if there's corn. If corn, true, pick corn, hit the bottom of this, repeat that until there's no path. Once there's no path, what do I want to do? I want to turn left, and then I want to do all of this again. How can I ask it to do all of this again? Loop. And how many sides are in a rectangle? Four. So I'm going to do this wall path ahead, which is really picking the entire side of a rectangle four times because there's four sides to a rectangle. Um, and then once I do that, I'm going to end up, I think, yeah. So this last side side three I'll hit here and now side four I should just like last time walk all the way down to here because I'm going to keep going while there's path ahead so I'll walk an uneven rectangle but I'll end up here I'll keep repeating this until here once I'm here it this we already said at the beginning was similar to the boop, 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 that windy path so what would I need to do I think I'm just going to turn left and then run this pick windy path. Wait a minute. I'm missing something, which I think is pick rectangle. Pick rectangle. Yeah. So what this should do is pick windy path. When I hit run, goes over here, runs all of this twice, where I move forward and pick the lettuce and the stairs like I did before. Then once that's run twice, boop, it hits this pick rectangle and it looks for that and runs this code runs four times, I'll move forward as long as there's a path. I'm moving forward, checking if there's corn. If there's corn on that square, I'll pick it. And then, ooh, and then once there's no longer any path, which would be right here, I will turn left, hit the bottom of this loop, zoop, and now walk the other square, no path, turn left, zoop, no path, turn left, zoop, no path, turn left oh so i don't need this turn left and then just like at the beginning pick windy path zoop, go down these steps and get the corn get the lettuce i think that's it let's give this a shot Ooh, this one's tough bump ba da -dum. awesome onward